guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Emily, and today we are doing a product review on the Graco Slim Snacker High Chair in the Whisk color. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified of all the latest here at EP Life. And without further ado, let's get on into it. So first things first, this was a purchase of mine from Amazon when I purchased it, it retailed at $79.99 US dollars. Today, upon making this video, it has dropped down to $55 US dollars. Not sure if that is a early Black Friday deal or if that would just be the price going forward, but I will definitely link it in the description below so you can take a look at it yourself. So, of course, first things first, this high chair is for the family that is limited on space, which we definitely are. For those that don't know, we share a one bedroom, myself, my husband, and my son. And there are a few pros with this high chair that I noticed upon purchasing, but there are also several cons I was not expecting. So definitely want to go over everything first. And of course, my big pet peeve was it did not have wheels. It is pretty easy to glide across the room. But something to keep in mind right out the gate, it does not have wheels. It has a very thin frame. It is super light, very convenient to get across from room to room if you need so. It also has a detachable table that the baby can use. And it also has a slot for the cup holder and a basket. So a few things to go over here. Let's start with one of the pros, one of my favorite things about the high chair, the fact that it has a very easy to clean plastic material for the baby to sit on. Stand by for some sound effects here. It's super easy to clean. I clean it every day with a disinfecting wipe or a washcloth with some, you know, light dish soap on it. It has this cute design of like forks, spoons, utensils, etc. It has this user-friendly button in the back here as well as the slots to adjust the straps. This button here is to recline the baby. It has three different areas of reclining which I've yet to use but at the same time it was one of the reasons why I got the high chair in the first place. A very spacious basket at the bottom. This is great for wipes, uh, bibs, as you can see, a washcloth there. Definitely user-friendly, and you will see why I use it the most in a minute. What I admire about this high chair is it has very minimal bells and whistles, so it's not complicated at all. It's actually assembled right out the box. And of course, no tires. No tires. Depending on the rooms you're moving them from, this can be an issue. Like, for example, tiles. We pretty much have hardwood floor all throughout the apartment, so it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue for us. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm a new parent or I am just oblivious to the world. One of my cons with this high chair is the coloring of the high chair. I don't mind the whisk seat color. I don't mind the coloring of the table or the poles around it, everything. I have a problem with these straps. These straps get dirty every single day, and it's to a point that if you do not wash them upon stains, they tend to get very dingy. I tried to zoom in here to get the full effect, but it was kind of hard with my camera. They get super, super grimy. The buckle on each side does, as well as the button. So I'm finding that every day I have to clean it with disinfecting wipes and antibacterials, and even like Folex carpet cleaner to get everything out. Has a five-point harness. It is not a breakaway harness. You can choose to use the shoulder straps. I definitely encourage using them. If your baby is anything like mine, they get distracted, and then he ends up putting them in his mouth. Here comes my favorite part of the video, the Graco Magic One Hand Fold. Now, this is something that Graco advertises as well as other companies such as Chico, and up a baby, it does have a one hand fold. Now hear me out here. This is my problem with this high chair. Number one conundrum. So it has the single one hand fold, but this eyesore of a table is sticking out. So this is what ends up happening. It's time for me to put the high chair away. I have fed the baby. I have wiped everything. It's time to get this out of the middle of my living room. And as I decide to push, 
into that corner right in front of my stroller. I push and push and push and I stop. Why do I stop, you ask? Because the table is blocking from going into the nice compact spot I picked. So now this is what I'm going to have to do to fix it. Now I have to take two hands, so it's no longer a one-hand operation, to take the table off of the high chair, which, by the way, tons of food can get stuck in this high chair, but we'll save that conversation for a rainy day. Now I have to take the two hinges, two hands, off of the high chair, stick it in the basket, which spreads the legs of the high chair a little bit, so now I have to mush them back together, and then I'm able to push it into the corner like so. So this is my problem mainly with this high chair. It is not a one-hand operation when it comes to removing the table, number one. Number two, I know it's not going to be perfection. I know that it's not going to be always a one-hand thing. I mean, folding it open is click, done, set up. But the whole thing about the table, that annoys me because it's supposed to be a slim space this situation. I've even tried taking the table and putting it on the legs of the high chair with, like, the clasp, that doesn't work neither. So I know for a fact, I mean, comment down below if I'm wrong. I'm human. I can make mistakes. But I feel like there's no other way to attach the table to the high chair unless it's on its original area. Despite a significant amount of flaws in my book, I feel for the price you're paying for the high chair compared to other brands, it is definitely worth it. It has saved me a lot of money. My son likes it, depending on his mood. To be honest, I feel like it's a great high chair. You know, it gets the job done. Yeah, it has its quirks. I mean, it is technically a slimming high chair compared to other high chairs that are made of wood and have different levels. I wish the straps were a different color or at least had some type of material on them, the equivalent as to what the baby sits on. So I don't have to worry so much about cleaning them. The table itself does have cracks in it with the way it's made, that food can get stuck. So just be mindful when cleaning it as well, because I didn't realize how that food can get trapped in there, and that could very much be a problem. But I do appreciate this strap here for the one-hand fold. Definitely do. It helps when I have that baby in my arms. Again, notice you have to jerk it a little bit to get it up, so it does have some resistance. But I would say it's a solid purchase if you're okay with those flaws. But again, thank you so much for watching my product review on the Graco Slim Snacker in the Whisk color. I appreciate the support and love. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the latest here at EP Life. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!